A lot of people don't realize that being healthy or being well isn't just about the foods that you're eating and whether or not you're doing physical activity. Oh, I go to the gym seven days a week, but you're watching crap. You're not just eating like crap. <clears throat> you're watching crap. So the shows that you're watching, and it's fine. Some people like drama, some people like this and that, but to be feeding your spirit, to be feeding your body with that 24 seven on top of not eating properly, on top of listening to music that is basically destructive to your system. It's just like, I think about when um, people do the little projects and they talk to the rice or they talk to the flowers and whatever you say, to the to the one flower positive that one grows well and just flourishes so beautifully and the one that you speak down on it basically dies it's the same thing with music if you're listening to music that is not good for your well-being that's not healthy if you're watching shows granted they may be interesting to you but if you're watching shows and all they do is just take like off people or just negative stuff then what you, child, just be mindful of what you're taking in that's what this video is about be mindful of what you're taking in wellness being healthy is not only about what you're putting in your mouth and chewing up and swallowing it's an overall thing all systems connected mind body and spirit connected watch what you're taking in and i know somebody will be like or sometimes people are like oh it's not that serious i listen to this kind of music or i watch these kind of shows and i'm all right well i want you to know that there are people who are living a beautiful life and they're unable to recognize it because they're seeing it through the lens of the music that they listen to or through the lens of the um shows that they're watching so they're they're so affected by what they're putting in they don't even realize how beautiful their life really is and it's unfortunate to say it like that but when i was teaching there would be kids and i'm talking elementary school kids i'm talking third second grade how are you depressed in second grade but you know what they're on tiktok they're on instagram they're on youtube they're looking at all this stuff that they shouldn't be internalizing yet, that they don't yet have the ability to process properly. And it's creating that result. So you can't tell me that things don't have an effect on you. Like, you know, you know, watch what you're taking in.